Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Over the course of the next two weeks, I will be engraving this Panerai case. Panerais are one of the most commonly engraved watches out there. Before every big project, I sketch elements and later pick out the ones I like the most. This time, I will only work on the watch case. When cutting this particular design, I will face many challenges, like difficult surfaces to work on. I'll start with engraving the case sides. Case is softly clamped between two pieces of leather to avoid damaging it. I carefully remove smaller scratches by sanding case with medium grit sandpaper and sanding block. When most of the daily wear marks are gone, I clean the case and start scraping elements and borders to get clear grind lens for me to see. Most of the times I use hard pencil and later refine lines with a scrap. First, I cut one side of repeating design and afterwards I use ink and tape method to mirror my engraved lines on the other side of the case. Once I have cut all the outlines, I use fine dental drill to remove metal and lower the background. Occasionally, I will use small and flat carbine punches to flatten the background afterwards.
I use same 110 degree carbide chisel to cut shading lines. Next step before I cut the bezel is to engrave corners on top of the case. I use same pencil and scribe method, but this time due to tiny surfaces it's much more challenging. Engravings on tiny corners were simple, however I constantly had to pay attention not to damage the bezel or watch out how I place my design transfers on tape so engravings are not misaligned. As bezel engraving seems pretty simple, it's the trickiest part of the entire project. Finished design has to align with the watch dial when it's finished. Any mistakes on the bezel will stick out, because this will be the most viewed and noticeable surface on the entire watch. The second big challenge is to work on constant angle and curve which I find on the bezel shape and therefore I must constantly adjust the microscope for sharpness. Once I'm finished I sand all the surfaces once again. It's important to remove all fine dust and oils so black paint will stick perfectly on clean surfaces. This project turned out very well. An engraving will hold for many many years if treated carefully. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time.